One family, two siblings. Me, Monroe, and my younger sister, Carrie. The outline of this story is pretty basic. Yet, like a burning page, a giant drop of ink falling into the chaos of letters, there's a drastic change that alters my life forever. What did this? What is my figurative match or leaky pen? A piece of paper? Well, a bucket list. A list of things that one has not done before, but wants to do before dying. Along with all the broad dreams of teenagers on completing the best summer possible, my sister Anne wrote a simple, let's say, to-do list of what her summer would possibly look like. my summer bucket list and and do you think you could take me because I don't have any other way to get there and you have a car <sighs> I don't know please I'll give you $20 okay well, when is it tonight Everyone told me to tell all my feelings, share it with my parents, my friends. Considering the recent absence of my parents in order for them to, quote, find help, and my lack of friends, I'm doing this on my own. I attempted to express my feelings through a journal. I put it on my summer bucket list. Starting off this bucket list, I felt actually really ridiculous doing it all. But um, as time went on, I realized that it was kind of fake. I've never really been one to complete anything in my life, really. As much as I think I'm helping her by finishing this list, I think in the end she's really helping me.
Robert Frost once said, In three words I can sum up everything I've learned about life. It goes on. After I finished that list, life moved on. Summer ended, cast is off. I not only owe to myself, but to my sister, to make purpose to my life. I'll never forget what happened that one night, but I've been able to heal from it. This mad journey we call life can and always will be a crazy roller coaster, but we have the option to grow from the downs and appreciate the ups. <laughs> Thanks, sis.